Good evening, and welcome to the second show of Season 6 of Shh Productions Vintage Radio Hour, brought to you by our sponsor, Anne Gatreau with Cruise Planners. Our COVID-inspired project has collaborated now with almost 160 fantastic performers and technicians, ages 10 to 83, from 21 states, Canada, and the UK, and seeks to transport our wonderful audiences back to the golden days of radio. Our gifted storytellers will ignite your imaginations by bringing you a collection of three shows filled with laughs, suspense, fear, and maybe a little terror. The upcoming show, Baby Snooks and Daddy Halloween, originally airing in 1941, features the cast of Chris Johnson from Ohio, Ben Gorman from Minnesota, Josie Clark from Ohio, Janetta Davis from Ohio, and Tony Roseboro, also from Ohio, in a mischievous yarn about a young girl's wish to enjoy Halloween and the havoc she creates when her dad lets her loose in the neighborhood. Believing that no one should miss out on the excitement, we've added our amazing ASL interpreter, Heather Caldwell, also from Ohio, to cater to our friends in the deaf and hard of hearing communities again this season. Now, hide the breakables, grab some snacks, and bevies, and shh. Uh, hello? John? Uh, hello, Daddy. When are you coming down? As soon as I put the little angel to bed, John. Oh, Snokes isn't sick, is she? Oh, far from it, old boy. But I can't take a chance on her getting out tonight. Too well, close to Halloween. Well, as soon as she's asleep, hop down here, will you, Daddy? You bet I will, John. So long. Goodbye. Well, I imagine she could do a bit of dirty work if she got out at that. <laughs> All right, Snooks. Take your clothes off and get into bed. Why? I don't want you out on the street tonight. It's Halloween, and you're bound to cause some trouble. All the other kids are on the street. Well, you're staying home, so get undressed. Snooks, under no circumstances will I let you out of this house tonight. Well, what will I do with my funny mask? You can wear it tomorrow night. I'm wearing it now, Daddy. Oh, well, take it off and go to bed. Tomorrow we'll duck for apples and play pin the tail on the donkey. Can we knock out some of Robespierre's teeth? What for? I want to make him look like a pumpkin. What a savage idea. No good? I can't imagine where you get those cannibalistic instincts. I'm a witch, Daddy. Well, you can certainly, you certainly look like one with that hideous mask. What mask? The one you're wearing. I took it off, Daddy. Oh, 
Well, put it on and we'll play some Halloween games. Yeah, <laughs> let's build a bonfire in the living room. No bonfires. Why? Why? You don't want to burn the house down, do you? Uh-huh. Now, don't be silly. Look, we'll play a nice quiet game like, uh, like 40 Winks. Well, how do you play? Well, it's very simple. I close my eyes and count very slowly. Huh? Then you see how quick you can take your clothes off and get into bed. And then, and then you turn out the light and, and lock the door? That's it. Sounds like a wonderful game, doesn't it? Yeah. Swell. Shall I start counting? No. Why not? You start undressing and I'll start counting. All right, never mind. I've got another game. We'll play Witches and Goblins. Can I be the goblin? Yes. And can Mommy be the witch? No. Why? We don't want it too realistic. I'll be the witch and you can be the goblin. Is the goblin like a little sailor? No, no. No. It's a malicious gnome who's supposed to appear on Halloween and cause damage. Does he really, Daddy? Oh, of course not. It's only a superstition, like believing that black cats are unlucky. Mommy says it's unlucky to get married on a Friday. Well, she's right. She's right? Although, why should Friday be an exception? Uh, come on now, we're going to play Witches and Goblins. Now, if you're the goblin, you must get undressed and get into bed. Mm hmm And I make believe I'm a witch and put out the light and lock the door. It's just like 40 winks, ain't it, Daddy? Why, yes, it's rather similar. You think I'm a dope, don't you, Daddy? What do you mean? I want to go out! Snooks! I want to go out! No! Look! I tell you what, we'll both go out. But instead of doing anything wrong or playing jokes on unsuspecting people, we'll have a different kind of Halloween. Yeah? Yes, if we see any damage anywhere, we'll fix it. Ha <laughs> ha, how's that? Uh -huh. no good. Then you can't go out and that's final. All right, Daddy, I'll be good. All right. Well, get your coat on, and you can put on your funny mask if you like. Huh? I said you can put on your mask. I got it on. Oh, I'll have to wear my glasses. Uh, come on! I'm coming, Daddy! Now, Snooks, you keep a sharp lookout. And if you see any kids molesting people's property, remember, we fix it. Yes, Daddy. Daddy! Yes? Somebody took that iron gate off the hinges. <gasps> Those vandals. Hmm. Let's hang it back up. Help me lift it. All right. Now be careful, Daddy. Oh, 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 oh. I've got it on. Now, you'll have to lock it into those hinges while I hold it. Make it snappy. It's heavy. How shall I do it? Smack it on the bottom. <laughs> shall I make believe I'm you and the gate is me? Huh? You always smack me on the bottom. Snooks, don't snarl now. This gate weighs a ton. Kick it in with your foot. All right, Daddy. Now, hold still. Oh, that was my leg! Hit it higher! Uh, it's, it's in, Daddy. You can let go now. Oh. Oh. There. Well, we've done somebody a good turn. Now, doesn't it make you feel fine? Hey, you! Mister! My lady's calling you, Daddy. Oh, probably wants to thank me. Yeah. Yes, madam? Did you just hang that gate up? I did, madam. Think nothing of it. 
think nothing of it. It took me two hours to get it down today. I'm sending it to be fixed. Oh, oh, I'm terribly sorry. I, well, uh... just take it off again and let it alone. It's a different kind of Halloween, ain't it, Daddy? Grab hold of that gate. Ready? I'm ready. All right. Pull! Oh. Oh. There. It's off. So it is. Hello, Mr. Policeman. Hello. Oh, uh, good evening, officer. Uh, well, uh, we, uh, we were just removing the lady's gate. <laughs> yes, so I see. Having fun? Yeah, this is my first time my daddy ever came out with me. Oh, he uh, likes to do these things, huh? Uh-huh. Oh, now, now, just a minute, officer. The only reason I was... Look here. Just hang that gate back and beat it before I run you in. And it better be up when I make my rounds again. Come on, get busy. Shall we hang it back up again, Daddy? Oh, what else can we do? That cop will only make trouble. Here, give me a hand. Oh, come on! Oh. I told you to let that gate alone! Oh, nuts! Come on, Snooks, let's get out of here! And now, a word from our sponsor, Anne Gatro with Cruise Planners. Anne's personal service travel agency offers cruises, land and resort packages with U.S.-based and worldwide destinations. Anne sells to couples, solo travelers, families, groups, corporate and special occasions, offering exclusive deals and rates. The travel packages that Anne Gatro with Cruise Planners offers are designed to your specific wants and needs. One call does it all, and there is no service fee, because Anne is commission-based. To learn more, or to plan your travel with Anne Gatro, just visit www.cruisetravelhub.com or call her at 941-993-993. 4184. And now, back to our presentation. Are we doing a lot of good, Daddy? Now, don't be sarcastic. Just because we happen to run in... Oh, wait a minute. What do you see? At that fire alarm box, there's a kid turning in a false alarm. I don't see nobody. Hey, come back here. He's running away. Ah, he's already turned in the alarm. How do you know? Well, see, the glass is broken. Oh, that's a terrible kind of joke. Those poor firemen will come all the way down here for nothing. Where's the fire engine, Daddy? No. Oh. Where's the fire? Uh, there isn't any fire, just a false alarm. F false alarm? Who turned it in? Why, some kid did it. He ran around the corner before we could catch him. Didn't he, Snooks? I didn't see nobody. Hey, uh, some kid, hey? Uh, you didn't do this, did you? Oh, don't be ridiculous. Why would I turn in a false alarm? What's going on here? Yeah, fossil lime, officer. Hey, we found this guy and the kid at the box. Hey, this is the same pair who've been taking gates off of fences. Let's go home, Daddy. Wait a minute. I know this guy. He's wanted in Cleveland for arson. Arson? Yeah, you're Firebug Willie. You're insane. I'm not a firebug. Tell him who I am, Snooks. He's Firebug Willie. Snooks! She, she's just joking, officer. Tell him the truth. Didn't you want to make a bonfire in the living room tonight? Uh-huh. And didn't I stop you from doing it? Yeah, and you wanted to come out and play Halloween jokes. There! 
Hey, look, there's a blaze down the street. There is a fire. Let's go, boys. Yeah, wait for me. It's a big fire, Daddy. Oh, let it burn. Serves them right for wasting time arguing with me instead of going about their business. Uh, Daddy, is Mommy and Ropes Pierre at home? Uh, no, they're over at Uncle Louie's. Oh, <laughs> then it's okay. What's okay? It's our house that's burning. <gasps> oh! <laughs> Good Halloween, ain't it? <laughs> Thank you to our outstanding performers, our amazing production manager, Nick Martin, our sponsor, Anne Gatreau with Cruise Planners, and to you, our audience, for joining us for our sixth season. We're back. We hope you enjoyed the show. Tune back in for the season finale, Dracula. This version of the timeless tale of terror will have you busting out the garlic, checking your mirrors, and locking your doors to anyone from the Carpathians. No, not the Kardashians, the Carpathians. Look them up. That episode is coming up at 9 p.m. Eastern Time. So, scurry to the restroom and refrigerator, then tune back in, and... Shh!